out there, Chef Tom, you asked for it, you got it. Pizza on the grill. Low indirect heat is essential. Get the coals going, get pushed off to the side like this. If you're a Hank Hill fan, using propane, same thing, uh, you know, a little low heat, indirect is perfect. Make sure there's a big center spot here. All the coals are pushed away to the side. And put the grate on. Give it a little brush action. Got to get, want it clean so nothing sticks. Give it about uh, five minutes. Go inside, roll your pizzas up like directed, and uh, we're gonna start building them. It's gonna take about five minutes for the uh, grates to get nice and warm though. We'll be all set to go. To help prevent the uh, pizza from sticking, a little olive oil or canola oil onto a paper towel and just rub right onto the, the grates themselves just like this. Put your rolled pizza crust directly on the grates, indirect heat. All right, close her up. It's been exactly one minute. Let's have a peek. The bubbles are forming real nice. Getting a little bit of browning already even on the pizza. It's ready. <laughs> Take the pizza off. Then flip the pizza over so the side that was down is facing up at you now. And then, this is my pizza, it's just going to be cheese, onions, I like sliced onions, I don't like chopped onions, I like the nice big piece of onion on my, in every bite there. Tomatoes, nice time of year to use tomatoes, starting to get some ripe ones out here. Sausage, a little bit of that pizza beer sausage I cooked up earlier. Fresh basil. And more cheese. It's getting a little hot so I'm going to shut the vent down just a hair. It's just barely open. Bring the pizza over and just slide it back on, cover it up. We'll look for the cheese to be melted, the crust to be crispy. Take a minute to feel the pizza. Give it a little spin, that way it cooks evenly. Ten minutes has gone by and the cheese is nice and bubbly at this point. The crust appears to be cooked. It's nice and thin. Feels crispy. I can't wait to dig in. This is just our simple tomato basil mix that we sell in the grocery stores. Just mix it with a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. If you want a bruschetta like pizza, go with diced tomatoes or better yet, cut it all up fresh at home. Tis the season, you know. Now for the crunch test. How about that, huh? That's beautiful. Look at the bottom's done just right. Let me see if I can flip it over without getting everything off. Catch a glimpse of the bottom of the way that it looks. It's perfect. Boy, I know how I'm going to spend my afternoon now, having a little bit of grilled pizza and Mamma Mia pizza beer. Ah, oh. mmm, mmm, mmm. You can just taste this right now. This is out of this world. A little pizza beer to wash that down with. From our house to yours, it's a Mamma Mia.